So as we go through the first forest where we left off from the demo, we get to the first city where hopefully I will be beating up the first leader, court leader, whatever. We get greeted with this jerk instead with a shady look and white shades and some hilarious dialogue. This gives us the ability to change the team name which is a bag of words and you get to pick two. Tempting but copyrightable. After picking my team name, the Sunshine Thieves, I walk inside the place where I would make my story progress. Mr. Kaz here looks like he's some celebrity. So I went up the elevator to challenge the guy and I walk into this crowdless room. I'm waiting, buddy. Nope. Probably. Damn right we can't. Now this guy asked me to find three depressed people to watch his games. At least the devs know medication and psychiatrists are there for your money. Let the wars begin in the comments. So I head out to look for three people. Caroline hates the town cause no one likes what she likes. This old lady who doesn't look upset at all, play against her and she will join the crowd. Now. Finally, this guy you have to jump to get to, and he's actually about to end it all, but the game has to be kid friendly, so they chose that the kid dialogue. So let's play sports, finally! Now. This part is not gonna be scripted, I'm gonna try to freestyle what I'm doing here as best as I can. Yeah, the previous part was all written down. So I start off with this knee blast or whatever, <laughs> knee bender, there we go, and attack that guy because it's at 100% damage. But apparently this block move is so overpowered that it cut my damage by 75% nearly. Can't freestyle map that well. But yeah, as you can see, it did nearly just a quarter of what it was meant to do. So that guy blocked, and mind you, I have no idea what I'm doing right now, and I think I'm in this match with less hit points than I should be. So I tried to heal, and this guy got his first point because I stupidly moved nobody in the front row. So there we go, I lost my first points, and this guy's like, whoa, that worked, we might win. So I'm like, okay, I need to put somebody in the front row if I want to win against an NPC. And there's some nice dialogue here that you can read for yourself by pausing or playing the game. Now, um, they're serving, and what did I do here? I have no idea, I'm just checking what they did. This is pretty much pointless to show you this, but I'm gonna leave it here. If I keep doing this, I'm just gonna chop it off. And that sounded bad but yeah I'll chop the video off next time so I'm still wondering what I'm doing mind you this is the first like actual battle against a human NPC if that makes sense and uh, well he shot the ball and uh, my guy is leveled up pretty well so he takes the shot 50% damage nearly I might be an outcast in my own hometown, but what? Yeah, let's fast forward this, that's too long. Okay, if you're interested in dialogue, just uh, play the game yourself. I again try a free... wait, what do I do here? Why can I not use knee bender? Oh yeah, because they, they um, served the ball, so you have to at least volley first. Uh, so my strategy with these two is refresh the... Kid chick, him. Kid can chick. I get it. And deal damage with him, and try to score with him because he's like by damage dealer. And uh, yeah, I healed, and I knee bender again on that guy. And again, he defends. This NPC knows what he's doing. There we go. Twenty-seven damage. Yikes. So you'd think. I learned something from losing a point earlier, but no, I didn't. I still clicked heal on the Kitchik instead of moving somebody forward, and he managed to score another point.
So I'm impressed with myself here and I'm asking myself how did I let that happen? And this guy is also pretty uh, like surprised that he's winning, so, so this is a problem with me here definitely. And you can still level up if you lose a point, so they're serving again. And at this point I'm like, I need to move somebody forward, and guess what, I finally do. Better late than never, and he shot straight, not sideways for once. Now that I moved, he shot straight. So again, volley, heal, kick. I keep thinking about that rhythm. Vo right, volley, heal and kick. Heal 15 stamina and shoot him, 117. He's not gonna block, right? He still used shield. So at this point I'm just gonna try to get that shield down. It's one hit away anyways. So this time around I heal with my kick chick or whatever it's called because everyone's well positioned and I'm safe from the diagonal and horizontal uh, attacks. So yeah, again volley. I mean refresh it volleys anyway, so why not heal someone else? And knee bender, and this time the bird is going down. Finally, the block is so strong. Might be good in PvP. More experience, and let's see what's next. Oh yeah, he's gonna have to switch in to his backline, so I keep the same strategy. And from here on out, pretty much I'm in no danger of losing since I kinda got the rhythm of the game. I can't remember what happened, but this guy took over half the damage, so I'm in a good position. Again, I positioned well by moving forward, so to be safe on all sides. And you can also check what they're gonna use, but I didn't know at this point, so I just did what I thought was right. Again, heal, volley kick, and another point. So I was like, two of his dudes are down, and he still tagged in the dude that was down, I'm like, wait, what? Uh, like, okay, good, free point, I win, GG, game over, I got the badge or whatever. Oh, actually, it's ranking up in this game, because you're trying to save some uh, nature from disastrous buildings. Yeah that. So depending on your humor you'll get some dialogue from the depressed dudes that you recruited in the crowd making fun of this leader. Oh well, he's still happy. So now we rank up, get some extra titles and we continue the story. Which is basically Pinky No Shoes getting mad at this guy because he doesn't want to stop the construction work. Oh well, unlucky. Next is Kaz talking about something I forgot about, so read and you'll find out. Yeah, he gave me his contact, there you go. So, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye!